Okay, today I'm going to change the encoder on this RXV. This is a newer one, this is a 2016 RXV. The, uh, some people call it a speed sensor, some call it encoder bearing. The older ones, it was called the encoder bearing and was a pain in the ass to change. If you've got the early RXVs from 08 to probably I'm gonna say up to around 2012, your encoder bearing is going to look like this. This is out of the manual. But you see that that ring with a wire on it? This is the old encoder bearing. You had to completely take the motor out of the vehicle take the motor apart this mounts inside the end plate of the motor as you can see real pain in the ass uh, if you just drop this thing from you know a foot just drop it on the counter you could damage it it's just very fragile but like I say a real pain in the ass I wanted to show you the book this is what the newer ones look like I'll be taking it out of the bag and showing you a better a better visual but I wanted to show you the difference between the two and on this one I'm going to hook up my Curtis scanner to this and I'm going to show you how I came up with the uh, encoder fault this is my Curtis scanner OEM version on these you lift the seat and there's what they call a dongle. I just flipped the toe switch down in here. This is it. Do you see that? This is covered by a plastic cap. This is where I hook up my Curtis scanner. I'm going to hook it up and I'm going to show you the codes that this thing threw. Then I'm going to come out here. I'm going to take this motor cover off to get access to the motor and show you the encoder. Okay, I've got my scanner hooked up. I'm gonna show you. There's the dongle I told you about, and I got my scanner plugged into it. I realize you do not own one of these scanners, but if you're working on an RXV, they're ridiculous not to have one. So this is the screen. See where it says present errors and fault history? I'm going to write arrow on fault history. See all the faults that come up? There's five of them. Up in the corner it says one to, one to five. And you see the fourth one down says encoder fault. There's one more on there. Let me move the screen up. Damn it. Calm supervision. You can't do anything about that. Anyway, encoder fault is what I'm trying to show you. So I'm going to take this thing apart. I'm going to show you the encoder. I just got the old one out. This is the old one. See what it looks like? It pulls right out of that hole and plugs into that harness. So I'm going to put that one over there. I'm going to put the new one in. So I'm going to plug it into that harness first because the wires are so short Then I'm going to push it down in that hole and screw it down. Okay, I've got the new one installed. Installed right there, plugged in. Before I close this up, I need to do a few things. First, I need to hook the wires back on the positive terminal. I didn't should tell you I took those apart, but there's four wires. I got to put those back on. Then I gotta flip the tow switch to run. Then I gotta turn the ignition on. Then we'll clear the faults. Okay, let's see. I just hooked the wires back on the positive terminal. Now I'm going to flip the run tow switch to run. Lower the seat. Turn the key on to forward. You can see my Curtis thing is warming up. Now I'm going to go to Diagnostics.
present errors or shouldn't be any. Fault history. Remember, this is where all the faults were. So now, see where it says clear all this button? So I'm going to push this. And we just cleared. There's no more codes in this memory. Now I'm going to take it for a test drive and see if we've fixed this thing. Okay, I just got done with the test drive. The cart is fixed. All I gotta do is close up the access panel and that is how we change an encoder on an RXV, the newer style. This is an OEM from EasyGo. So um, if you're interested and you don't, can't find it, shoot me an email and I'll uh, tell you what the part number is. This is an RXV that I'm tearing down right now, but uh, I wanted to show you because I just finished the uh, video on that RXV that I put the encoder in this morning. I should have videoed this tape down, but I didn't. But this is the older RXV. This one has the encoder inside the motor at this end. Remember the, uh, the wiring harness? This was the connector. It looks just like that with the four wires going in and out. But this connector... You follow the wire, goes inside here along with the three big three phase wires, motor wires, and that encoder, if we have to change the encoder, bearing encoder on this particular one, you've got to remove the entire motor and that thing is heavy. Um, you got to take the brake off. This is the brake. You got to undo all the wiring. You got to pull that big heavy bitch off. Let me show you because I have over here on the bench. This is a RXV motor. This is what the armature looks like. This thing is huge and heavy compared to a normal one on a motor. This is a normal motor, one here. Hard to see, but this thing is just huge. Just wanted to show you that. This is the old one. I'm going to walk over and show you the new one. This is the new one. See how there's only three big wires going into this box? And the other four wires coming out of that connector go to this. This is the encoder. It's so much easier to change. One bolt and you just change. Same motor, believe it or not. Just a different setup on the encoder. Anyway, subscribe to our channel. Um, shoot us an email, Wayne's Golf Carts at gmail.com. And um, hopefully, look forward to our video on the secret sauce. Probably when I detail that precedent you see out there, I'll shoot that video. So, thanks for watching.